Hey everybody, welcome to my first episode in my 30 Days to Die series. And this game is called Seven Days to Die. And it's basically a survival game built after the zombie apocalypse. Well, I don't know. it says nuclear apocalypse, but there are zombies everywhere, so it's kind of a zombie apocalypse game. So what I'm doing right now is I just, I didn't show everybody the settings I'm using in the game because pretty much everything is default with the exception of one thing and that's I've changed the, that's a chicken, I've changed the horde uh, days from happening every seven days to every 30 days and there's a reason for that. Um, one, I'm not a very good player. Uh, but that wasn't the reason why I decided to go that route. The reason why I decided to go that route, um, and you can see up here our, our tasks that we have to do here at the beginning, so I'm just going to kind of go through these real quick here as we go along. Um, but the reason why I decided to go this route uh, is because I like the building and exploring aspect of this game. Um, the horde nights every seven nights where the massive zombie hordes attack your base, uh, you know, it's it's okay and it's fun. Um, but I really like the building aspect and the, just the regular play of this game. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm more going for in this series. If that's not your thing, if you want to watch somebody, you know, build a base and hold down the horde every seven nights or every night, this series probably isn't going to be for you. But for somebody who's maybe new to the game, uh, this will be a nice little fun, relaxing playthrough. All right, so let's place our bedroll down. So the idea of Seven Days to Die is basically you're surviving in a world after an apocalypse. They said it was World War III. Um, let's not hold on to that. Oops, I put those in there, really? Wow, good thing I... <laughs> Oops. Good thing I checked that. Um, so yeah, it's space after, you know, uh, World War III, which could have been a result of the zombie apocalypse, but never really says. The idea is to try and survive in a, a turmoiled world. Um, and, you know, that's kind of our goal. So I'm going to do a few things here that I know are going to help us out to start. Um, let's take these two and let's do recipes. Craft some yucca juice. And I'm going to take my stone axe. Where'd that chicken go? I'm going after this chicken. What's up, buddy? You cannot flee. You cannot flee. We need food. Oh, damn it. Maybe you can flee. There we go. All right. Don't have any other way to harvest this meat right now, but we're going to need that for sure. So I just wanted to grab it before anything. All right, let's grab some of this. All right, now we need to make clothing because we are buck naked. So let's do that. Um, anyway, so the goal of this series is going to be to basically find a house, build it, fortify it, explore the areas around um, where we live, you know, kind of hit up all the points of interest. Um, so I want to build in a city, I want to go and raid every building, um, kind of do that kind of thing. And... Um, in doing all that, um, we'll build up a half decent base so that by the time day 30 does come and the horde arrives, which will probably at that point be a half decent sized horde. Um, let's see here. Then we can just go ahead and um, take those out. Take the horde out with our base. Now I'm gonna make my base um, and my home the same place. Oftentimes people will make their base and the home differently but not me. I'm gonna make it the same place. All right, so we need to make a club now. Let's get our club here. So like I said, I just wanna kinda of quickly move through these quests so we can get into the into the town here and start exploring. Trying to find a place to live. Um, stone bow, let's get our club down here. Uh, sorry, wood bow, craft, and let's make as many arrows as we can. Five, not very many. All right, that's fine. I'm hanging out of that uh, Okay, load our bow up. All right, hanging on to that uh, seed because that's the kind of tree I want to plant around my house. Uh, okay, going to keep searching stuff. We're going to head into town as we go. Pipe, maybe we find a good place to live to start. I don't know if we'll stay here, but uh, we're certainly going to move into this part of town. 
Uh, now, we're going to have to collect a lot of resources. I don't want to do a lot of that at the start of this episode. Um, I wanted to kind of just grab enough so that we're okay for the first night. I don't mean busting up a couple stones here, a couple of trees so we can make some arrows, but other than that, that's all we really need to do. I want to spend our time looking for a place to live. Um, looks like that's a hospital, which is kind of nice to have close to us because we can raid that for medical supplies. Uh, but we're going to need a lot of things. Food and water being the number one thing that we have to be very, very careful careful about. Um, the yucca juice that I just made at the beginning, it's good if you're in the desert to start with that because uh, it helps keep you hydrated. It gives you extra more extra hydration um, and helps keep you cool. So it's always good if you can get yucca juice to just kind of do with that. It looks like there's a snow biome over there. So there's a wide variety of biomes in this game. Um and it includes basically the desert that we're in now. There's a snow biome. There's a biome that everyone calls the green biome. It's more like a forest biome, which actually might be back that way. Uh, this is a randomly randomly generated map, so you know those biomes will be, you know, randomly spawned. I won't know where they are. Um, so just have to keep our eye open to see what's what. We probably end up staying in a forest biome. That way we don't have to worry about heat and. Um, you know, excess use of water, things like that. Uh, but for now, since we're close to this town, I think we'll hit it up. We want to try and grab as many feathers and eggs as we can too. Um, so once we stop and we find a place to stay, that's going to be half decent for the night. I'll set up and finish off our quest line here. Because I don't want to make these frames out of wood and then just leave them behind. I would rather... Uh, um, use them in a place that we're going to be living in. All right, let's keep going. Maybe this town isn't all desert too. Maybe it's like half in one biome and half in another. There's our first zombie. What is up, girl? So in the daytime, these zombies are relatively easy to kill. Whoops. Um, but at night, they're a lot faster. They sprint at night. Uh, during the day, they just walk. So, I mean, if you have a bow, you can easily kill these guys from a distance. Ooh. Search this car. You can easily kill them from a distance, so they're, you know, you don't have to actually approach them. So I'm going to scrap these. Uh, and the reason why is I need to get some iron for tonight. Because I want to make a... Uh, an iron coated baseball bat. Let's break this up. Oops. There we go. And what I want from this, and get rid of that. So we got 60 iron off those bolts. This is what I'm looking for here. I want to make a bone knife. That way, when we get some animals, we can uh, carve them up a little easier. So I'm thinking we want to find some place where we'll be off the ground. We don't want to be building our base on the ground if we can avoid it. Because sometimes you get wandering hordes of zombies that'll come around. And they will ooh, attack your base at night. And if you're on the ground, um, they'll just break through your walls and kill you. Ooh, wood splitter. Take that. It's a schematic. We can use gravedigger schematic. Wow, two schematics and like two garbages. That's amazing. That allows us to make some modifiers from, for some of our stuff here. All right, so let's grab this. Ooh, some ammo. Take this tree down. We definitely need wood in order to be able to build some frames to be able to hold up someplace. So I just want to make sure we have enough of that for tonight. Trash. Short pipe, iron airheads. I'm going to scrap these for now too. Because like I said, we're going to need iron for tonight. So that tomorrow we can have a, a, a uh, iron-coated baseball bat. Okay, more bird nests here. 120 arrows, it's pretty good. We're not going to need that for tonight for sure. But we'll keep grabbing stuff. Alright, so I normally like to find buildings like these ones here. That are just like rel relatively simple to get in. Like this one here. Going up that building and clearing it all out of zombies is going to be a nightmare, but we're not going to do that. We're going to find a building like one of these small ones here. That are walls that have come down, but have a place that we can kind of get up high. 
So maybe over here. Ooh, what do we got here? Potatoes? Nice. Gonna leave those for now though. Don't need them right away. I'm gonna spot another zombie. So when I find a place to stay, like what I like to do is try and clear out the zombies if we can actually hit them around the base. First thing. Just so they're not bothering us at night. Hit somebody else. Someone down there. The crawler. Uh, it looks like this kind of goes into a forested biome, so let's go up here. I want to hit up some of these buildings shortly, though. Yeah, no pigs in there. Pigs are a great source of meat. They can also be tough to fight. As soon as you shoot them, they'll attack you, so you gotta be careful. Picking up random stones. Oh, heard another chicken. Let's see if we can get him with the bow this time. So I'm stealthing right now. Nope. Come on, stop. There we go. So the reason why I always crouch when I grab this stuff is just to stealth so that any zombies can't see me. Well, I'll have a harder time seeing me anyway. Some more trash over here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oops. There's a barfing zombie back there. So you know you can punch these guys with your hands. You don't have to worry about having a club or anything, but I think the club does a lot more damage. What's up, buddy? Lagging. I'm lagging because I'm compressing an episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn in the background. Ooh. Oh, it takes longer to kill these guys this way. But it can be fun. Really only do that in the daytime. Because like I said, they run at night, so can't really keep backing up away from them. Okay, let's go to, let's just grab whatever's in here, nothing. Let's just go and head to the uh, forested biome. If there's actually any buildings there, it doesn't look like there is. Like the town ends right here. If that's going to be the case. Oh, we might get a little bit of the town in the forest, maybe. Please and thank you. That's kind of a cool building there. Waterworks. Kind of be nice to make my home there. What's up, girl? Just hanging up out there. I'm not interested in fighting you right now. All right, there's a snow biome. And a forest biome. Let's go see. Yeah, shut up. Let's go see if we can find any like houses or whatever, just right here on the edge. Can always make the trips into town during the daytime. Vulture. Well, I don't see anything. Immediately here. Okay. Well, let's go into town. Let's just find a place for the evening. I mean, we'll most likely change our home anyway. So one of the other things you got to worry about, like not so much in day one, uh, will be stamina. <laughs> Alright, going this way. I, mean, I guess I could go in one of these barns, but... It's nicer to find a place that's got like a concrete base to it if you can. Like here we go. This is a good place over here. And a place that's got a roof to it. Like you could go up on a regular rooftop of a building. But when you got buzzards flying around. Zombie buzzards. In that regard. That can attack you. You're better off.
being in a place that's got a roof on it. So let's go up here. Uh, we need to make some frames. Let's do that now. Because we're going to need these. Um, let's make six of them. So let's go up here. Alright, this looks like empty. Get some iron out of this too. Not much, but a little bit. I hear you over there, birdie. Okay, nothing in here. Perfect. Alright, so let's make a couple of things. Let's do a door and a chest. Because we're going to be staying here tonight. At least tonight. We may make this our base. Depends on what's around. And we're going to reinforce it a little bit. Okay, and then let's put our storage chest down in the corner over here. Like this. And drop our stuff that we don't need on us right away in here. Uh, arrows we definitely need. The bedroll we're going to be placing. Land claim block can go in there. This can go in there. Eggs. Keep the stone out. Uh, let's plant these. And iron. we got 75, so we need more iron. So let's put our bedroll here. This should stop zombies from spawning here. And I think above us there's a bit more... we got to go upstairs, I think. Yeah. Ooh, what's up, buddy? Ooh, I can hit him from here. Come on, you guys. Up here. There you go. Oh, damn it. This is why you don't want to get hit and I'm bleeding out. That was bad. Where he's gone, I have no idea. What he's doing, I have no idea, but at least he's not, like, trying to break into my house here. Oh my god. What the hell was I doing? That could have been bad. Oh, God. Alright, we need to find some stuff now. We need to find some stuff to make bandages so if we can find cotton, great. Um, let's make a shovel. Repair this while we're at it. We're going to need some more arrows. Shovel can go here. Uh, ammo. Let's make another 25. All right, we want to just get rid of this so they can't jump up here. Oh, screw you. God, we're getting hit hard here, man. Let's make sure they can't climb up here. All right, that's more than one block. All right, we should be good now. Let's find this last buzzard. Where did he go? There you are. Get some good feathers off these guys. So that's a bad start. Alright, let's plant these trees out here. They will grow over time.
Okay, so that that's a water tower there. We have if we can find some empty jars, we can fill them up with water at that tower. We don't have to worry about water. Well, we still do, but Are you enjoying the uh Here's snake. There you are. Nice. A little bit more meat. At least we'll have food. Now I just need to find water. Um, the barn, maybe? Oh, there's pigs here. It doesn't seem very smart to keep the pigs in that pen, then they can just jump over the fence, but whatever. And take the free meat here. Leveled up. Nice. If these pigs get close to you, they can wreck you. When I first started playing this game and experimenting, I started near a pig, shot it, and then I couldn't kill it, it just wrecked me. <laughs> So you gotta be careful with them. All right, now this stuff, good stuff to have to start with. So this is concrete. Every 10 concrete will upgrade uh, a brick wall to concrete walls. Just makes it stronger, prevents the zombies from getting you. All right, now let's break our way in here. Let's go in through here. So if you stealth when you're breaking stuff, you'll notice on the bottom left-hand side, there's a yellow bar there with an eye on it. That's the perception. So the lower that number, the better. Less chance the zombies can hear and see what you're doing. There's one right there. And one right here. You wanna try and shoot them in the head because it does more damage. And the first shot does more damage when you're stealth, too. Oh, that was an open door there. What the hell? All right, let's get this guy. That one's done. So that goes outside. Let's open that up. I don't like this. What? What's up, you? Now we have to worry if they make noise and there's zombies above us. They could drop down on us and attack us. Shh. Stay very, very quiet. Okay, let's finish this one off and get upstairs. We've got lots of concrete and cobble we can collect here. I'm more interested in seeing if we can find other stuff. Okay, we're good there. Ooh, a workbench. Yeah, it's destroyed. Take the spring, why not? Okay, club first. Looks like there's somebody up there. See if we can get them to come down. Gonna make walking hard. What's up, lady? Ooh! You're not having a good day. Nice twerk, though. Gotta be careful. Sometimes these boards, some boards will break out on you. To learn how to figure out which ones will do that. Ooh, stuff over there. That's what we want. 
why we're here. Let's make sure there's nobody sleeping back here. And we'll loot after we kill this guy. Look at that rifle bag or something over there. Ooh, what's up, buddy? One of the things we do need really badly is a cooking pot. Without that, we can't cook much. Gas tank. Let's take this. Then we're going to loot this place. Oh, water, bottled water. Perfect. All right. Our thirst hasn't gone down yet. Day one, like I said, is pretty good. Let's see what we got here. An air filter. All right. We can turn that into a mine. A land mine. It'll take a while before we get there to be able to do that, but... It's one of the things we can get, a whole ear of corn, eh? Oh boy. I'm really hoping for some iron tools here or something. Ah, iron sledgehammer. Ooh, compound bow. Let's take the level 2 one. And we'll scrap this one. Keep the level 1 just in case. Um, yeah. Not bad at all. All right, ammo. Well, let's, all right, let's take this concrete. Since I don't want to come back up here to the top, we'll grab the stuff at the top, and then we can worry about grabbing the other stuff later. Okay, let's grab the stuff over here. Alright, what do we got in here first? I just don't want to break this into the backpack back here, it looks like. Let's just break this out first. Ooh, flannel shirt, nice. And we can scrap this can. Uh, let's wear this. Because we don't want to be wearing um, this plant fiber stuff. Hope we can get better stuff. Okay, let's get down here. Find out what we got down here. We'll clear out the second level and then make our way back, drop this stuff off at the house and see what else we can loot. It's five o'clock. Duct tape, we're gonna need that. Well, sound like somebody's trying to break in here. They can hear me up here, I guess. Um, there is a panel here. Something in there. Oh, there you are. She is going to attempt to knock this block out from underneath me. But not today, girl. Not today. Okay, let's go through the wood. It's easier to go through this than the iron. Although I probably should go through the iron to get some more iron. But I think we'll be okay for tonight. What do we got here? Where that frame? Oh, we got a backpack. Oh, iron air hats. Let's scrap those. Don't really need the seed, but we'll take it with us. Okay, so we've gotten everything on this floor. We come back and get the first floor stuff tomorrow. Let's grab our arrows before we go. Um, yeah, we still need to find some other stuff. Is there anything in here that... We could use, I don't think so. Oh, what's this, pile of ammo? Sure, man. So how much iron do we collect today? 21 here, we got 75 at home, it's perfect. We only need 100 for an iron club, so that's good. All right, let's go drop this off at home, which is back the other way. Let's grab this tree first though while we're here. Okay, we'll plant the tree near our house. That way we don't have to go long distances to find stuff that's empty. Let's put it right here. Don't want to have it too, too close. Okay, now when we get up here, since we made it so we couldn't jump up, we can just take a frame, like so, drop it here, and pick it up, and not have to worry about it. Nice. What's this? Glass? Looks like glass. Okay. Let's put the stuff in here, and we'll go back out again.
Doing really good for raw meat there. Let's make some more arrows. So again, we can upgrade 15 blocks of these stone blo blocks around us to concrete. We can make a lot of cobblestone blocks. Uh, let's do this, and then let's do um, two of these before we go back out. The reason why I'm holding off making the um, the uh, armor, the iron bat right now, is because I want to raise up my level a bit first um, in the in the actual skill to be able to uh, get a better bat. So I'm just gonna wait. All right, we gotta find a place we can get some scrap cloth from. And I think we can probably get some from in here. Let's see what's in this car first. Come on. So we're going to go into this building behind us. It's basically a, a, a scrap yard or a junkyard. Don't, you don't really need the glass pane, but we're going to take it. Let's see what's in the garbage. We'll scrap uh, blast brass candlestick better barter that's pretty good yeah let's make some arrows first um, 25 Our stone is slowly going down but we'll deal with it all right we got some zombies in here probably gonna be able to find some cloth in here I think That's it for you. Only one guy? Oh, there's another guy up there. Workbench over here. Let's check it out. Nobody there. Wow, 30 wood. I'll take that. It's hoping for some forged iron. Take the nails. Take the chair. We can scrap that. Scrap this. It's nice that you can actually, there we go, cloth fragments, we can make some bandages now. Um, it's nice that we can actually um, scrap stuff in that one while we're moving. What do we got here? Ooh, bottoms and a baseball cap. Let's wear both these. And we'll scrap both these. Oh, my queue is full. All right, we can get more cloth from here. Eight more, nice. I should probably... Whoa, shit! He was up, he was up above. I didn't even think he would be up there. Not sure what they're doing. Thank you. Thank you for holding on to those. Not sure what they're banging on and why. Well, it looks like we got some guys coming in from outside. Could have been a wandering horde. Look at this. Ooh, right in the head. Yeah, sneak damage bonus. They can't see me. Over here, dumbass. Come on. Those guys are down. Let's grab my arrows. And not sure if you heard that jingle, but that's my hundred and First episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn rendering out. Already got those trash piles. Is it just you out there? Or is there more? Hope it's just you. Should really just close that door. And when I get an iron bat, you guys are toast. Probably should do that. Okay, we need to get into the building next door here. 
scrap that because there's a good chance we can get a cooking pot in there. I know there's a kitchen in there. Some gas cans. We're getting a little overweighted here, but let's fix this. Oh, shoot. Stop that. Gonna break through here. Otherwise, if we go up the stairs, we have to go out into the roof. Get a little bit of iron from this. Looks like there's somebody right there. Or that could be a mount of garbage. Level 3 and have two extra skill points. We'll have a few more than that. Oh, there is somebody right here. Yeah, you heard me. Let's get that guy going too. Right in the face. You like that? Okay, those two down. Got a big mama in here. And somebody else. Who are you? Oh, it's a chair. Ooh, right in the ear. Right up Main Street. That's it for her. Oh, we got another guy right over here. Gotta be careful we don't get people coming down from upstairs. That's it for you. Come on, cooking pot. Ah, damn it. Cooking pot? Yeah, I'll take the jars, I guess. Can't have everything. More cloth fabric. This is great for making bandages. Refrigerator's got stuff in it. Okay, we've got a good amount of glass jars now, so let's scrap these guys. Let's scrap these guys. Get some wood out of it, and... We don't have any coins, but when we come back next time, we can pick some stuff up here. Damn it all, I was really hoping for more... Uh, at least we got cloth for bandages. We can worry about cooking pot tomorrow. Look at you. I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. Alright. Got an hour left before nightfall. So I think we'll head back home. This is probably going to sum up the first episode. Yeah, scrap that. Take the iron more than anything. Alright, let's head back home. Make sure we got enough fiber. Got a fair bit of stone, so I think we're okay. You grab this duffel bag? Yep. And what's over here? So the brass and the, and the lead are used to make bullet casings, but we won't be able to do that till later in the game. More duct tape. Nice. Um, how much stone do we have? 49. Let's grab a little bit more here. Got a few more minutes. We got, what, 37 minutes until 10 o'clock, which is when the uh, when nightfall happens and the zombies will turn from walking to running. And at that point, I don't want to be out here because I am not that good at this game. Uh, let's repair that. And what we'll do is we'll go into the house and, well, our, our temporary camp, that is. We will allocate our points for the day, finish upgrading, get some wood frames down, finish upgrading them. Um, just basically build a wall. And let's grab this iron here. Okay, what I want to do, I think, is...
Maybe do that. Just upgrade these. So just a right click to upgrade these. Alright, there's that done. Let's get this out of the way. It's not going to respawn anyway. Let's break this brick up so we got extra room. Nine more minutes. So days are set at um, 60 minute days. So um, that means that there's 60 minutes for day the day-night cycle. Let's leave this out. Uh, that can stay out. Put that in, put that in. That can go in, that can go in. This can get scrapped. All right, bring our iron out. Um, so we're going to do a few things first. Need to make some bandages. So that little noise means it's nighttime now. Uh, we're going to do a couple things here too. If the zombies can see you from outside, they'll uh, come after you. At least this way they won't be able to see us. Alright, um, so we're going to use this. And we're going to make bandana. We're going to make like four bandages probably. Let's craft four. Save ten. Put those down here. We can wear this. It's going to give us a little cold and heat resistance. It's going to be good. Uh, so let's put the rest of the cloth in here. Then we can use one of these. So you can notice down here our maximum health is like not in the gray area. The bandage will bring that up. And our health will come back over time. So this will give us 7 health by eating it and bring our max stamina up again. So we're going to use that. Eat that up. And we're going to use a, a yucca juice. Nice. Alright, so let's put... The, we don't need to scrap these cans anymore. We're going to hold on to them because we can turn them into stuff later on. Okay, uh, we don't have a cooking pot, so that's going to be a problem. We need this for tomorrow. Let's take out two more yucca. Let's make some yucca juice. Make the most of our water here. Craft another one of those. All right, um, let's make our campfire. So you can do this right at the very beginning of the game. Craft all this stuff. Lay down your wood frames, lay down your campfire wherever you start. Um, what happens after that is it tells you where the lo nearest trader is. Um, and the trader is the only other really, I mean, unless you're playing multiplayer, is the only other person that's alive on the map, like human. Um, so now it'll tell us where the trader is. It's over that way and how far it is. Hopefully it's not that far. 1.7 kilometers. Okay, that's not bad. That's runnable in a day. We could run over there and come back. All right, let's do our let's do our uh, skill points here, and we'll end the day. So we've got six skill points available, um, and you've got different aspects here. So we've got perception and your aspects for perception. It's mostly for sh your shooting, but it's also things like lucky looter, like looting stuff, gives you a better chance to find things. Although I'm not really know I don't really know how successful this is, but it's not bad. Strength is obvious; it's for melee and stuff like that. Also, breaking up blocks, like you'll get more per block break and more damage per block. Pack Mule allows you to carry more. Um, you get your fortitude, which is basically like health and your, uh, you know, your fortitude, I guess. Pain tolerance, healing factor, how fast you can heal, things like that. Um, agility is mostly related to your stamina. Um, not exactly sure why, but it is. So you can get things like Hidden Strike, which we're going to actually buy because sneak damage right now does double damage. But we want, want that extra 50%, so when we're shooting people, when they can't see us, we're going to do more damage. So we're going to buy one level of that to start with. Uh, and then Intellect, which I like to put points in at the start so you can craft better items. And you have a chance to open up some of these earlier. Uh, Hammer and Forge is good for making iron and stuff with, which you can get at level 10. But you need to have Intellect 4. Um, so that's a good thing to have. Uh, Grease Monkey is nice to get too at level 10 because you can, all you need is Intellect 4. You can start cross crafting bicycles, which will help you get around the world faster. And then that leads into Advanced Engineering, phys Physician, and stuff like that. So we're going to take Master Chef first um, because it un unlocks basic recipes. It says like teas and coffee, but it's also like bacon and eggs and stuff, which is really, really good to have early on. So we're going to buy that, even though we can't make any tonight because we don't have a cooking pot to 
cook it with, but we're going to take that. And then we're just going to raise our base intellect status up to three. And then for our last point, we're going to go back here and take pack mule, which allows us to carry more stuff without being encumbered. It's a little better than what we were before. So if you kind of go back into our uh, backpack here, you can see there's four of these that are gray now. Um, once you pass this grayness, this starts, these start to become encumbered and you slow down. So you definitely don't want to be slow when there's zombies around. So the more of this you can get up, the better off you're going to be. All right. So let's craft a few more things here. We're going to make new gear. Actually, we'll leave the compound bow. We're still going to use that, I think. Uh, but let's craft an iron re reinforced club. Costs 100 iron and 10 wood. We'll craft a new stone axe and a new stone shovel. And do we have... I don't know if we have any more bones here. Yeah, let's get rid of this bone knife. Because you can't scrap bone stuff, unfortunately. And yeah, we'll turn on, make another bone knife here. Um, get that going. So there's our bat. So now we can start scrapping the stuff that we don't need here anymore. Got our new shovel. We can scrap that. Nice. There's our knife. And there's the stuff scrapped. We get a little bit of material back when you scrap stuff, so it's kind of good. And then let's, let's see. We got 225 feathers. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, we got 18 now. Let's make 32 more. Get those going for the night. Uh, we can crap, we can scrap this too. No, we won't get much wood back, but at least we'll get something. Now we are completely out of food. Um, so we'll need to go ahead. We got bacon. We can make um, six bacon and eggs here. It costs two eggs and five meat to make bacon and eggs. Um, but the good thing about it is it re restores 32 stamina or 36 stamina, I think it is. It's pretty good. So we got one corn left, but I think we'll be okay for tomorrow. We're going to go hit up a few more buildings, see if we can find some food. Um, and we will definitely want a cooking pot. So those are the things we're going to be looking for um, in the next episode. All right, so we're going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, once again, it's 30 days to die. So we got 30 days before the zombie horde is going to show up and try and kill us. We're going to have to find a base before then, which what we will do. Um, and we got lots of time. We're going to need lots of concrete. Uh, lots of cobblestone to get the base up and reinforced. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye out for that as we're going around uh, and other materials. And I think tomorrow we'll spend the day, like I said, looking for a cooking pot. And then once we find that, we'll go ahead and try and look for a half-decent base. I'm thinking in the forest biome, um, but I think we'll loot here a little bit first. And then maybe on day three, uh, we'll go to the forest biome and see if we can find a city or a town there. Um, and hold up there. That way we don't have to worry about the heat, um, things like that. Right now we're, uh, you notice in the bottom left hand corner is that little jacket. We're, because we're low level, we're protected a certain amount from heat and cold. Um, so if we go to our character here, we're protected a little bit from heat and cold, but not by much. We have elemental protection for, you know, it says 49 minutes, but I think it really depends on what, what our level is. But um, so we've got, where is it? Cold resist of 61, heat resist of 62. This is going to drop significantly when our level goes up. So we need to get as much clothing as we possibly can. Um, so this is only giving us 8 and 8. This is 6 and 2. You know, 3 and 2. Um, and these are like these are all 1. Baseball cap's good for heat resistance. Um, but we're going to need to find better gear for sure. We're going to need a duster, uh, some kind of overcoat. Um, we're going to make some chest and leg armor and stuff, but we won't do that right away. Uh, but yeah, so I'm leaving it there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.